There are a lot of people who look at Catholics and say, oh, well, you can go out and sin on the weekend and then and then on Monday or Saturday or whatever, go in and, and confess your sins and you're all good. Well, that's not how it works. Mm. You well, have to be, it's repent and be baptized. Am I wrong on that? We all sure, agree on that. No, it's good. It's yeah. repent and be baptized. Okay, so you must repent of your sin. And well, does everybody agree with that? At Doc, I think he goes another thing. There's there's a yep. concept, and I, I can't find the there's another verse I wanted to read, but there is one of being void of conviction. And I think that's when you let sin become habit and normal, like like what you're saying. You know, you don't even acknowledge right. it anymore. Um, but you know, uh, Wayland brought up the best point. Repent, right? Because we've we've talked about that other weeks, you know. Jesus said, it was one of the things he said, repent ye for the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm -hmm. you know, unless you repent and believe on me, you know, you, you're, you're gone. Now, I want to read something else. I've been waiting to read this. This is Jesus, Matthew 7. Um, we could start a little higher, but let's just start right in the meat of it. Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, yeah. many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name hath have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Yes.